again. How are you doing? <laughs> um, since we just uh, finished talking with Jameis, what, what are your impressions of him and his uh, approach and his attitude, uh, the chances you've gotten to work with him this offseason? Uh, I haven't got to really do too much with Jameis this offseason, but, um, you know, we've been talking, and, you know, I think his, his attitude and his mentality is, you know, obviously coming in to do what he's trying to do, and that's have a starting job. Um, I think he he's – prepared i think he's ready i think he uh feels good about it um i mean it's obviously competition with that i mean he got to compete with Taysom, and he knows that Taysom knows that he got to compete with Jameis. but i think they're um both of them have the right mentality out the last uh, off season i think you and dr sharif kind of worked on the lower body to, to get it right were there specific areas you guys targeted this year that you wanted to strengthen up and, and kind of improve on yeah, I think we, we kind of just built off last year. Same thing, a lot of a lot of lower body focus, a lot of um, lateral movement focus. Um, I mean, it's 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 been it's been a grind this year, honestly. Like it's just been just evolving, trying to evolve, evolve, evolve every year. And it's like, you know, I, I do so much, and and you know, it's I'm moving and, and excelling and, and progressing in these movements and these exercises, like every day, every week, and it's like. It's only it only gets harder, like it never gets easier. So we're always trying to find the next thing to do. So he's always trying to stump me, and you know, I think it was it was last week trying to we was making up stuff during the workout, like just going, just flowing, trying to trying to he trying to get me to fail, but you know, it's all in 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 you know good good faith and and it's, it means well. I'm gonna ask you, did you feel like week 13, 14, where you felt the results like? You know, I feel stronger at this point now than I than I did other years. Oh yeah, I mean that's the that's the goal for it to translate. So you know everything that I'm doing is is setting up for you know that that season that long haul. Oh, I mean once we get into week 13, like you said, 14 and going like I mean I'm shoot, I'm still good. I'm I'm hitting you know I'm hitting my second you know that second win and I'm I'm feeling good. Hey, Alvin, do things feel closer to normal this time around with some of the restrictions being lifted or? Is still feels like last year uh i think i i don't know you know i just i i'm, I'm kind of like i'm just doing what i got to do you know i don't really i don't know i'm not too focused on all that but i think just it, it is a little bit more lax obviously because you know some of the mass mandates and things like that i mean just outside of here else in the city and in other cities it's kind of it's a little bit more open so you know, things are starting to open back up and there's more people moving around and, you know, obviously with the vaccine and things. So, so you know, I think it's, it's it's cool. Now that you've been experienced in the league for a while, Alvin, how much do you compare yourself as you look at the other top running backs in the league just as a competitor to say, I want to be even better than them? Uh, You know, I, I kind of, I just focus on me. And I like, if I'm watching another back, it's to, you know, I think it's not really to stack up. It's more like, dang, like Christian, shoot, I love the way he do that or, Dalvin, I love the way he do this, or, you know, Derek and Saquon, all these guys, Zeke and Nick and all them dudes. I'm just watching just, like, as a fan, you know what I'm saying? I'm not watching, like, oh, I'm, uh, I need to do this better than this guy or that guy. I'm just, if I'm watching this, Drew, genuinely just because, like, I mean, I know, obviously, we all know each other, and I'm just watching as a fan and, like, admiring the game. I don't really, I'm not comparing myself to nobody. I, you know, I got my thing. I got my lane. I stay in my lane. I do what I got to do. And I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. Those dudes, well, I can't speak for them, but, you know, I, I'm sure they're doing it, what they got to do to prepare themselves to, to, you know, perform. So that's all I'm focused on. I'm focused on me. Alvin, um, you know, first offseason without Drew Brees uh, in that locker room, from a leadership leadership perspective, uh, you know, how have things changed? Are there different voices kind of stepping up in certain situations? What's uh, What's been the, you know, biggest difference there? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Drew been here for, you know, ages, <laughs> obviously, so. You know, without him, obviously, it's his presence that you 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 obviously notice. Um, that's that's not here. It's not present. Um, but you know, I mean, we got we got leaders. We got guys. We got vet guys that you know had a voice when Drew was here. Um, so, you know, we got the guys like Cam, Demario. I mean, I'm in there. I mean, I'm going on my fifth year. Um, Teron. Like, I mean, we got guys. You know, um, obviously, you know that was our that was our our general. Um, he was our quarterback. I mean, he'd been our quarterback for a long time, but. You know, I think guys are ready and to step up and, you know, some guys that maybe not maybe might not have been ready or, or as willing to step up and kind of, you know, be supporting cast. Like as far as leadership goes, those guys are stepping into the 
some of those roles. So it's good to see. It's it's cool. It's cool to see, man. You know. My bad if you already got asked this, but you guys are kind of taking a little bit of a different approach to the, the off-season program there, more classroom stuff. Just how beneficial – is that beneficial to you guys as players? You feel like you're getting all the, the, the same amount of preparation? Just what's the difference and, you know, the, the standard approach to, to now for you guys? Um, with that, I think it's, it, it makes a lot of difference because um, it's more it's more mental than, than physically taxing. It's, I mean, it's guys that need some of that – some more of that uh, classroom work, like you said, and – um just to exercise the mind you know because i mean it's it's easy to come out here and say we got to practice three days out the week and you can kind of get through that and, and do what you got to do and you know it's sometimes things get overlooked because you, you you're focusing on the you know the bigger picture as far as you know having the whole structured practice whereas when you're in the classroom it's more catered to you know where I'm, I'm meeting with my running back group and we're talking about what we have to do as a as, as a running back in pass protection and you know, run schemes and, 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 you know, just route concepts, all that. Like, so, you know, you get a little bit more time to kind of think things tr- through and figure out the why, the when, and the how, whereas, you know, when you're practicing, it's kind of like you out there and you on the fly with some stuff. Cool. Appreciate it, Josh. Thanks, Josh.